Hi guys, welcome back, good evening. We are back with this sketchbook and now I'm carrying on a review because I do know that I only did one sort of material onto this sketchbook, but I wanted to give a first impressions and then give an overview. So this is just part of the usual trying to sort out my overview <laughs> situation. That being said, I'm going to be working a different material today. So carrying on from the visit from Walsy, hopefully I'm saying that right, I can never tell. I'm just going to be doing watercolour this time. Actually staying true to life in terms of the watercolour usage, it's nowhere near. But it is something that I know I can work on. But I just want to be able to get some art done because I had a bit of a weird day. And I like to clock off with art and I want to just try and spend as much time as I can with it. So that's just what we are going to do. <clears throat> Proper review of this set. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. You're more than welcome to. To save paper, I've just done this on the back of the page with the oil paints and oil paints, oil pastels on. Because then at least you get two artworks for the price of one, <laughs> and you can kind of decide on what you want. <clears throat>
how's your day been, guys? You enjoyed it? <clears throat> I like to socialise with other people. Because <laughs> even though I've moved up here for four years, I don't actually have many people to talk to other than my friends. I talk to Skype and on the other days whenever they're busy. I'm finding a little bit hard to drop off recently. I think it's because I have been ill and I haven't had much to do in terms of the art world or to be able to do anything outside of my life basically. Which is okay because I was concentrating on getting better. It was just like a really bad fluey cold thing. <clears throat> it was going around in my work for ages. And because I couldn't have the days off at work because they were going to be unpaid and I can't afford that, I had to go into work, um, which is the same for a lot of people. It's not the, the evil people at my work saying no, it's um, just general businesses do it. <clears throat> and then I really suffered mentally from not being able to do what I love. I just realised I've only got two walk cutter pens. <laughs> so this is uh, accidentally limiting me and Mark.
You don't have any more. Okay, this is going to turn into a mixed media piece because I've got graphite and eyeliner I can go back in with. I hope this works. <laughs> Once again, we are glad. <clears throat> that paper has two different sides. <laughs> <coughs>
Okay, so, fabulous. I think that's the best I'm going to get. Um, hoping I achieve something. I think in terms of perspective, it's incredibly hard to draw. <clears throat> I'll just quickly show you the image that I was, oh, that I was trying to draw next to each other. The perspective of the stairs. <clears throat> Why am I losing my voice? The perspective of the stairs and then the water and then making sure the water stood out against the sand was incredibly hard. I'm quite proud of myself with this. Despite the fact I've only got two types of watercolours and I went to a mixed media very sudden with the graphite and the use of fine liner. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. It's just a study so I don't have to worry about it. I'm just trying to find out a way to translate the best version of Volsi into a medium and that's why I went out into watercolour and ended up in mixed media. So for this perspective it does work to some degree but I feel like it's definitely not going to be a watercolour situation. I feel like so I put in different mark making different mark making bits and pieces in. It became so much more visually interesting and for me to be able to keep myself visually interested in a piece is most important. It can look terrible, but if it's eye drawing to the point where you can't stop looking at it, that is what I want. In terms of the use of scale, I think I've actually got the size of it quite right. Despite it being on a massive page, I feel like this is kind of, it's, it's justified. It's not spread too spread out thinly, but I've got enough information and detail to kind of understand what the hell is going on, basically. Uh, three dimensional, yeah, starting to hit those little key elements in that and the use of texture and form and mark making are always dead exciting within a piece like this so yeah pretty happy pretty happy thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give a comment down in the comment section below if you would like to don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and don't forget to check out my links in my description box to my social medias and also my ebay selling account which is where you'll find all my artworks that i feature on my channel that i have up for sale that's finished pieces, by the way, not unfinished pieces. And also I've got a PayPal donations page as well if you'd like to make a donation. But in the meantime, I shall see you guys later. Bye.